Nice to meet you all uh, here. I'm JP Wu. I come from Beijing, China, uh, uh, Intel Open Source Technology Center. I'm the engineer manager of China SPD uh, inside Intel. So uh, it's very nice to meet all uh, developers here. And today, uh, I will uh, have a session to introduce the Titan SDK minimum web development tools. So the agenda uh, is very pretty uh, straightforward, right? I will uh, uh, introduce a little bit about the current Titan web SDK, and then I will go into the uh, Titan minimum web uh, development tools, and I will show a demo to how to use those tools to build a Titan web application. Okay, Titan web SDK. Actually, you can download it directly from the Titan store. So after you install it, you will see it is actually a UTF-based uh, SDK. Here is a oh, sorry. Here is a, a step source of the IDE. It's just uh, input some some you know information and you, you, know, you can get this uh. yeah. okay you need the uh, password for the certificate okay. Use a uh, P tool as a extension name. Then you are, it, it's done. So you you get a certificate generation. Then you just configure it. Uh, by default, after you install the uh, minimum uh, web SDK, you actually get such kind of profile XML. Uh, so it, it's actually empty. So you need to copy something. I have some data for you, so you need to change it like this. And the change this, yeah, this setting has been configured there. So you just save it. And you can see the CA, the CA actually is installed in the uh, certificate generator folder. So yeah, you can find it here, the developer CA and the distributor CA. So let's done for the for the you know, certificate, and then we can create a project. We can okay. This is an empty folder, so we try to create a project from the. Uh, time templates. So you can use the templates here. So you create a <coughs> templates. Uh, maybe we can use this first one, the web UI framework, uh, multi page templates. You will have to generate this project under this folder. Okay, you, you need to uh, provide some description. Okay. You can do it in that way, but if you already have a web application, you can just uh, copy your you know, web application into this folder, but make sure you have the you know, correct configure XML uh, file and uh, Okay, give a name. Okay, it's done. So, so if we go back to the folder, you can you can find the this you know it just uh, creates a common web project here. So it's no other files, it's just a web reference and the assemble configure XML index XML. You you can try it. You can try it directly in the web simulator first to see what what will happen.
So you can cause this actually running on top of this web simulation. Uh, basically, you can change the code using any tools you want. Uh, I will not show the that part. So uh, I will start to you know, uh, test it. So before we have configured the uh, certificate profiles, so let's come back to see this. Here is the name, the profile, the name, name is developed. So you need to use this name to design your widget. So this is to design the widget. Because it's not a huge plan project, so it will ask some, you know, we just have to continue and give the give the password. Okay. Actually, this project has been designed uh, with your uh, certificate. You will see uh, this file here, and if you open it, you can say, okay. The, the designation has been done uh, using the certificate. And if you do this the first time, you will find your profile XML will be changed to be <coughs> like this. Yeah. You also add the password there. So next time you you do the dining, you will not ask your partner again. So we basically get this wages uh, then then so we can create the tag now. We come come the uh, upper level, create the tag, we give a name from the WGT. Just, just one line command. It just you know, it, 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 it then can create a widget for you. Then we are trying to you know, deploy this widget to the real device. I have a, a, a Samsung phone here. Actually, is a. It will be the development form, but we have, because we are Intel, we have that uh, to show you guys. Okay. Yeah. So let's install it. Yeah, we call this command. Okay. To come back, yeah, okay. In the okay, it's in Dolly. The, the, the server and I can come. So you will get a same you know, uh, application running on top of this uh, uh, real device, type device. Actually, the, the, the connection is using the STD. That's what I mentioned. So, maybe we want to debug it. So, we are trying to debug this uh, application. Uh, but for the, uh, this command line tool, uh, it has to be re uh, relaunch this application. We can come back to the, you know, the, okay. So you want to, if you want to debug it, you need to know some information. So we can uh, list uh, the, this uh, information for this application. Here is the list is uh, all the applications are installed on your target device. So you can see the last one is the one I just installed. So we need to uh, debug this one. Uh, Uh, this this uh, application. I think the first time it will be failed because the, the application has been launched. So it 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 should be launched by this device. So I didn't want to run it again. If you close that application on uh, on this phone, and it will uh, launch it directly and uh, open the device for. Okay. So you can you can you get this URL, right? This URL can use it directly by the form TV tool to debug this application. 
So let's open a uh, com. Okay, sorry. Uh, and then you can start the debugging and it just start. This is a com DV2. Yeah. Yeah. So I think basically with this uh, uh, this kind of tools you can uh, uh, you can say in this demo I I, I did not use any things uh, uh, from the you know the IDE you can use any editor or use other tools to to develop your web application and eventually use this uh, command tools to to create your tiny web uh, application. So. Okay. Uh, so actually, I did not I did not mention the next step. In the next, you know, there are some companies is asking you know, to to integrate this con tools into their backend. So that will be more useful because uh, many developers have their own choice. Some some guys use the Adobe tools, some guys use the Cynthia, some guys use the you know, but eventually they can have the source code and uh, you know. The backend work, just like this morning, the Mark said, you know, Central and, you know, HP accelerators, just uh, support the Python, I think, yeah. 